What's up, people? Perry here with another episode of Stud Tech. And I'm here on the Stud Tech server. I feel like I should say it like that every time I say Stud Tech, you know? <laughs> um, but uh, here we are uh, again with the same shader pack. I'm going to stick with it for at least the first a little bit i'm not too sure where i'm gonna go uh maybe you know there might be a different shader pack that comes along but i'm kind of used to this the way it works right now got a little buddy right there hey how's it going and the sun's going down so and there's nobody on the server so let's get in a little bit of a sleep uh, for this episode what we're gonna try and do is to start building around this house uh, get some more work done on our house. And uh, I think that uh, I did hear some of your comments saying that uh, it looks a little plain, a little basic. And I do hear you. But um, as you know, th uh, with with my building type style is that I like to rough in the shape first. So I get the basic shape out of the way. And then from there, we're able to figure out uh, all the little details later on. So um, you can tell right now I've basically blocked in the the front of the house and uh, I think I'll be putting in windows in some of these areas for sure. I mean uh, somebody said that uh, this area looked like a garage which I will give you that. It definitely, it definitely does look like a garage but uh, we'll be putting in some kind of uh, windows down here and over here this place will pretty much open up if I can get up there this place will pretty much open up into I want to have sort of like floor to ceiling windows so that we can take advantage of the view of the lake slash ocean whatever this is and I, as you can see I haven't really figured out too much to do with this side of the house i mean we'll take a look from this vantage point yeah i haven't i haven't done too much of course that cobblestone's got to go but um i like the way that this area is turning out so far the living room that's going to be like a living room type area this area and that area right there will be kind of like that open space concept that i was talking about but i think that the rest of the house you can see I've kind of blocked in like that this repeatable shape or pattern that I have here this kind of upside down L type pattern kind of fans out this way and then also fans out that way I kind of like the look of it again going for that modern type feel we were more concentrated on the lines of the build rather than uh, specific details uh, but rest assured there will be lots of uh, details to be put into this uh, house but um, one thing that I've been kind of experimenting on and something that's been really taking up a lot of my time on this server for sure is to get nice and armored up and that is mainly because um, a lot of things here can kill me and <laughs> I'm kind of tired of dying. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> um, so there's lots of things that uh, I need to kind of figure out in terms of protection and all that stuff. I mean, I have a silver skeleton sword that uh, I was fortunate enough to grab from uh, one of them silver skeletons. I think, I think they dropped them. I don't know. They're, they're pretty rare, but I managed to get two. So that was pretty cool. And uh, also I have some exo armor. And I, right now I just have the shoes and the goggles. I don't have enough to get the, the chest plate and the leggings just yet. But um, I'm, I'm slowly working on it. You need um, a bunch of bronze large plates in order to do that. So that's going to take a lot of bronze. And in order to make bronze you need tin and copper I believe and those are not really easy to find and it takes a little bit of doing in order to get all the materials together but I'm slowly getting there slowly getting there so that's uh, been taking up a lot of my time also one of the things that I wanted to experiment on as you can see I've built myself uh, what's it, a furnace 
smeltery smeltery yes it's called the smeltery and this is going to serve the purpose not only for myself getting armor and tools and weapons and all that stuff but i also want to put in some glass into our build and i have smelted right here some glass there we go there we go so we got a bunch of glass here and i think if we put it into the smeltery it can um we can turn it into glass blocks with these uh, casting basins here so i think let's let's just try it out right now uh if i can remember how to put this stuff in so something like that there you go hopefully i have oh i don't hmm. i think i'm gonna run out of lava so i think i'll have to get another bucket from somewhere i think i, I think i have one offhand I'll we'll just check real quick. Uh, nope, nope. I'm going to have to go get some. So I'm just going to go down here. I'm just going to grab some lava. And uh, when we come back, uh, I'll, I'll get to smelting the uh, glass. There we go. That should keep it going for now. And we have a bunch of glass all smelted up. So... And I should probably clarify why I'm putting the glass into the smeltery is that the texture of this glass, which I don't like, this one produces a, I guess I could, you could say a much better looking glass, in my opinion. And so let's just try it out. Let's see. Actually, I should do one of these first just to test it out. Let's see. I love the way that it kind of fills it up. I don't know. These mods are really cool. Well, there we go. Let's take a look. Yeah. Clear glass. And I believe that if you place it down and then you, you break it, it doesn't just... Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it doesn't just go away. It actually, um, it actually stays as clear glass. So that's pretty cool. And uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to start pour all of these glass blocks out because we're going to use them in our build over there so once i get a whole bunch of glass together we'll, we'll come back here and we'll start figuring out some details especially on this front facade here and i think that what we're going to try and do is to kind of tidy up the front end here i know that i still need to work on this area but we won't concentrate on that just yet uh, i still have to figure out a bunch of this stuff in order to do that so um yeah, for the sake of uh, this episode and and trying to figure out a good design a good overall design i think we'll concentrate on this face of the build first so um as soon as these uh blocks are all ready to go we'll come back and we'll get started on building that house all right, so I decided to take a little break from playing around with microblocks for a little bit just to harvest some of the redwood. Now, we are going to need a lot of redwood in order to complete our build of our house. But in order to do that, we have to harvest these redwoods. And that can seem to be a little bit of a daunting task. But I was told in the comments, and thank you to whoever uh, gave me this tip that you can make one of these lumber axes and from this you're able to take down these trees basically by destroying one block I'm kind of skeptical as to if this works or not but from what I've been told it uses up durability so like the same amount of durability that you would normally uh, use in order to take down the entire tree with a regular axe so you kind of have to be careful when you're taking down these large redwoods just to make sure that you have enough uh, durability and I think I think we're okay for that Shh. Where is this? where's that sound coming from <laughs> this biome has a lot of animals in it and uh, yeah the wildlife wildlife can get kind of noisy was that you yeah it was you but um, let's try it out. Let's try out this. Uh, let's try out taking out this redwood. All right. 
Like that. Okay. Oh! How about that? Alright, so after taking down that tree, and uh, there's still some scraggly bits left over, but from what we got, we got two, two stacks and a little bit of redwood and a bunch of saplings. That's not bad. Not bad for 30 seconds of work. So that will make harvesting these redwoods nice and easy. So um, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead, go, get back, get back to work on the house and I'll see you there in just a little bit. All right. So here we are. I got some glass here, some clear glass and it's all ready to go. So what I ended up doing was uh, using the uh, saw from the micro blocks and turning them into slabs. And I think I want to try them out here. And this is just a temporary doorway right now. And I think, let's take a look at this. So something like that. Hmm. I don't like how it's flush. It's too flush with the, the wood itself. Maybe we'll, we'll take it in a bit. So we'll, we'll try to cut it down again. So let's see. Okay. Let's take that back over here. I don't think you need to use a crafting table in order to saw these blocks, do you? Nah, you don't. There you go. Alright, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at this. We'll place it down just like that like that yeah so it's an extra piece of definition an extra piece of detail we'll add to the build here and uh, yeah i really like how that's turned out so now we have to figure out where to put it in terms of the overall structure and what i'm thinking is to kind of follow this line right here add on sort of like an accent or a stripe to the build and that will give us a little bit more detail now I need to get up there and one of the tips that I was given in the comments was to use these vine scaffolding and it's a pretty cool tip um, I had no idea that this was in the game but um, all you have to do is place down blocks like that and I think yeah oh that's pretty cool they just just keep on placing them and they go up oh that's pretty cool thank you to whoever whoever told me that in the comments i can't remember off the top of my head i'm sure i will a little, a little name will pop up if i find it in the comments but uh, thank you very much for that helpful tip you just take some vines and i think you arrange it in a pattern of six vertically in the crafting table and you, from there you're able to craft these uh, vine scaffolding so um yeah th these are pretty useful of course you can climb them and we can we can get to work we can get to work so um i want to try and maybe leave a spacing of one block between this right here the stone and the wood so let's try that out just take these down And then we'll start putting in the windows and we'll take a look and see how that looks. Now in my head, it it seems like a pretty good idea, but I've been proven wrong before as to what looks good and what doesn't look good. Let's take a look right here. And I think I need an extra block there, a different type of micro block for that corner so that but uh, right now I'm just trying to, you know, block in the shapes. Oops. Uh. <laughs> uh. Um. Let's try and figure that out. Okay. So we'll take this down. Take down the vine scaffolding. Look at that. Awesome. Awesome. I love it. I love it. I'll tell you what. This modded Minecraft really has uh, opened my eyes up to... Is that actually up there? I think I think that block is actually up there, so we'll have to go up there and get it. Cool. All right. So let's try and uh, finish off blocking in this. There we go. I did grab it. I grabbed it, right? A little nub there. Yep. All right. 
So that goes there. Oops. I still have to get used to using the scaffolding, of course, but uh, definitely, definitely a time saver. And I think a little, a little nub will have to go on to there. I'll, I'll make that right now. Let's try that out. And I didn't need to use the crafting table as we just learned earlier, but old habits die hard. <laughs> um, so let's take down the scaffolding again. Perfect. And we'll have to scale up again. Maybe we'll put it, get rid of that torch, put it right here. Yeah. I just want to kind of take out this bend here just so that we can get a good look at uh, what exactly we're, we're, we're talking about here in terms of detail. I don't know how that corner is going to look, but um, we'll see. So something like that. Okay. All right. Let's take a look. Hmm. It's kind of weird the way the textures kind of wrap around the micro blocks. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. In terms of the glass, there might be a little bit of an issue there, but I like the way it looks. I was thinking that the borders were going to be a little bit smaller, but um, as it looks right now, it's all right. I think what would be good, though, is if we added on an extra little border that goes along with this, and we'll need... Maybe we'll go with stone, but I'm not too sure. Do I have any stone on me? Do I have any stone? I do. All right, so I've been playing around with the microblocks mod a little bit, trying to figure out how the uh, mechanics of it work. As it turns out right now, I can't really place the stone post where I want it to go. Now, the idea was that I was supposed to put it up against the wood here, but the, the way the whole thing works, it doesn't allow me to do that. So if you guys know of uh, maybe some sort of way to add in that detail, I may have to go with the redwood planks. And I think it can merge with uh, these uh, these blocks right here. So um, if you know of any other way to kind of add in that little stripe of detail going up, and around the glass let me know in the comments for sure but um, as far as the rest of the build goes I actually kind of like it. it it's working out well so far the glass I wasn't expecting the the borders to be this defined I guess you could say it kind of takes away from the simplicity of the build as it is right now but uh, it's something that I can live with um, again we are adding in more detail and I think we've accomplished that over here, um, there'll be the kitchen, and this kitchen area, this is why I have the glass like so. Not only does it complement this bend right here, but um, now that it's up and out of the way, we are able to kind of uh, start arranging different kitchen elements, and I think it'll give us enough room uh, to do that. I think that... Um, uh, when we start playing around with some furniture mods and stuff like that, I'm not too sure what... I I've heard about some of the furniture mods that are in this pack, but uh, I'm not too sure what exactly goes into making some of the things here. Um, perhaps we'll figure out some creative way of making some kitchen elements using microblocks and other mods in this uh, pack, but um, I think it'll give us enough room to build what we need to build. And over here... Again, we have that same glass block element. And the one thing that I want to check out is whether or not it clears the stairs. Oh, yeah, it does. It's no problem. <laughs> I don't know why I was so worried about that, but um, I was worried about the headroom coming down the stairs, but uh, that doesn't seem to be a problem at all. And I'm thinking that this stairway that is going to be here, I was thinking some sort of a gentle slope down towards the bottom but 
I think it'd be best if we just confine it to a nice small stairway just so that it frees up some room to do whatever we need to do in here. And uh, I think that that is about it. I like the way it's turned out. I like the way it's turned out. Of course, there's going to be lots of room for more details here and there. But as it stands right now, this is a pretty good start. This facade, I would consider probably about 75% done. Um, if you guys know of any other tips or whatever, uh, be sure to leave them in the comments, of course. And down here, I think that uh, we'll end up probably filling this grass in with some sort of block. Either the stone or the redwood would go in there. But um, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. I thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave your comments, of course, down below. Don't forget to hit that like button if you so choose. And if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. It keeps you up to date on all the things that are going on in it. So that's it for me. Always remember, keep your head up. And I'll see you in the next one.